the casting for Superman Legacy is hitting a crucial phase where we're going to get to see soon who's our Superman, who's Lois Lane, who's Lex Luthor, but also hinting at the ultimate villain plus other heroes in the same movie. Now, it has already been revealed by James Gunn that Superman Legacy is going to start shooting in January. So it is true that they are advancing to the screen test stage that will likely take place after Memorial Day or early June for three characters in Superman Legacy. Clark Kent, Superman himself, Lois Lane, and Lex Luthor. These reports are coming from The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, and The Wrap. For the spunky reporter at Metropolis Daily Planet, there have been many contenders for Lois Lane, including such names like Emma Mackey, Phoebe Dynvor, and Samara Weaving. Apparently, the Emmy-winning star of Amazon's acclaimed The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Rachel Brosnahan, delivered an outstanding audition, we'll see. For the role of Superman, there were a lot of contenders as well, including British actors Tom Brittany and Andrew Richardson, and that person is David Cornswit, who is one of many that is advancing to the screen test stage. David Cornswit is actually a fan cast for a while now, and for many fans who are fans of Henry Cavill, you will kind of notice that he kind of does look like a young Henry Cavill, who already embodies Superman. If that's not enough for you, a fan actually made this fan-made trailer with David Cornswit as the role of Superman, and in these scenes that he's manipulated, it does really embody the look of Superman. He does have the look and the persona to be our new Superman. But then another name showed up today, and that person is Nicholas Holt. Deadline and The Wrap are reporting that Nicholas Holt is also in contention for Superman. And it's kind of interesting because he was in contention for Batman before Robert Pattinson won that role. So, I don't know, it'd be kind of sad for him if he lost out on Superman after losing out on Batman. But what's interesting about the Nicholas Holt name is that The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that he's actually in contention for Lex Luthor. And you know what? I do think he'd play a better Lex Luthor than Clark Kent. But the conversation about Lex Luthor is also an interesting one. Because even though The Hollywood Reporter says Nicholas Holt is in contention for Lex Luthor, The Rap is saying writer-director James Gunn is looking for black actors to find his Lex Luthor. Deadline even reports that James Gunn actually asked one of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 cast members to play as Lex Luthor, but apparently that may have fallen through. Both Deadline and The Rap revealed a little bit more about the Lex Luthor character. Sources have said that one role has been testing as been for a part simply labeled Apex. In the comics, Apex Lex Luthor had a hybrid human Martian body and could physically go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. But that's just judging from the antagonist role that is labeled Apex. But that's not all. Sources say the movie will be populated by many faces as it will seek to introduce DC heroes that are already established in the movie setting. Maybe showing us the new Batman or the new Wonder Woman, etc. As just a tease to a larger DC Cinematic Universe that James Gunn is creating. And with this big news, James Gunn did put out a statement himself. He said this, For all of you asking, I would never comment on who is or isn't auditioning for a role. That's the actor's business only and isn't something I'd make public unless they did it first after the fact, like Glenn Howerton or Zachary Levi having auditioned for Star-Lord and being top choices. For now, only one person has been cast in Superman Legacy, and it isn't any other regular players in the Superman world. So the first part, I believe he's saying that even though there are casting rumors and choices that seems to be top contenders, it doesn't mean they will get the role with the example he's giving of Star-Lord, because that ultimately went to Chris Pratt. But the other part of that statement is interesting. He puts down a little mermaid emoji. And for people who know about Peacemaker do recognize that mermaid emoji, which could be hinting that a character from the Peacemaker series will be in the new Superman legacy. And, you know, for a lot of fans would kind of think, well, 
This probably means Amelia Harcourt, because his wife has been appearing in every one of his projects. But then, James Gunn liked to tweet from fan Alex Lobel, who put out a gif of Vigilante, hereby possibly teasing that Vigilante will be in Superman Legacy. Well, here's hoping that within the next few months, James Gunn will finally reveal who's going to be playing Superman, Lois Lane, and Lex Luthor at this year's San Diego Comic-Con in July.